The lesson we are going to go over today is concerning the measurement and relationship of angles formed by two parallel lines cut by a transversal. For convenience, we're going to number the angles that are formed when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. The numbers are already filled in right here. You've already learned that angles that are opposite each other, sorry, take that back, that angles that are diagonal from each other are equal. There's a special name for those angles, and those are called vertical angles. So at the bottom of the screen, I've already got listed that angle one and angle four, angle two and angle three, angle five and angle eight, let me get my pen here and let's circle them so we can talk of, visualize what we're talking about. Two and three are vertical. Six and seven. Let's change colors so we can keep track. One and four. Oops, I picked a bad color. And five and eight. Those pairs are vertical angles. And remember, vertical angles are equal in measurement. Okay, let's go to the next slide. And on this slide, we want to illustrate corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are angles that are on the same side of the transversal and with reference to their parallel line in the same position. So let's talk about what that means. Let's look at angle two. Angle two is above this parallel line, and it's to the right of its this transversal. Remember, this is the transversal. Let's do a red line like that. All right. So let's look down at the bottom. On the bottom, again, the transversal is right here, and we're talking about this side over here. Okay. The angle that's to the right of the transversal. Okay, angle two is above its parallel line and to the right of the transversal. Angle six is above its parallel line and to the right of the transversal. So the angle that's corresponding in position to angle two is angle six. So let's go ahead and circle that. Okay, can we stop? Let's change colors. Now let's talk about angle one. What angle would be in the same corresponding position as angle one? Well, angle one is above this parallel line and to the left of the transversal. So let's look down at the other parallel line. Angle five is to the left of the transversal and above that parallel line. So let's circle that one. So now we know that angle one, one, sorry, I'm not, Angle one and angle five are equal because they're corresponding angles. Oh, you know what? And I stopped anyway, because it's not red. I don't know what happened. It's, it's recording. Oh, oh sorry. Okay, pause. Button. Okay. 